Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with the beautiful Roxanne. Um, we're actually collabing to do a kind of like um, eyeshadow challenge video. I've done this with multiple people in the past, including Chris and Katie. Um, they're super fun. I love finding people that can do, that love the Jeffree Star palettes. And then we like DM each other about which shade we pick for each other to use, and we have to create an eye look out of it. So if that sounds interesting, you better put it today. So the shades she chose for me, let me double check. The shades, from what I remember, she chose like really dark shades, which I'm excited for because I actually have a planned look. So she wanted um, Vatican Vanity. What is it? Fashion Faith, Jeffrey's World, and Candy Cathedral. So one, two, three, four. And then we also chose one by the Extreme Bros, which was what? Early Gates, which is this one. Which was probably my least favorite out of three, if you saw my video, my review video. So let's get into it. So, <clears throat> I actually already have a, well, yes, I do have a look planned out. Um, it is actually this cool, like, under eye, it's like a reverse cat eye, I believe it is. Ooh, I want to try it with this palette so bad, because I love doing pinks under my under eye, because I look sick and a little deadly. So, let's start with that. So, first things first, let's see which brush to use. Let's go in with this one. This is a Morphe 432 brush. And I'm going to go into Vatican Vanity, which is, I think, like a really deep purple. So, what you do. I have to like look because I have to see where I'm going to extend it to. So you're like really supposed to like stretch this shit out like for. Mm, let's see. Let me see if I can post a picture of my inspiration. Um, this guy did it on TikTok and it kind of blew up and I never tried it, so today is the day. Oh, I actually switched to an E29. And because this one is the darkest, I want to have it closest to the lash line. And I don't think I'm going to pull it in all the way because I might use Fashion Faith. Yeah, so I'm going to grab Fashion Faith on the same brush. And then just really... That looks nice. And then really marry them together here. Okay. And then let's do Jeffrey's World on, I need something kind of small. Something like this. This is the Wayne Goss number 20 brush. It's literally like the smallest little blender brush. And I'm gonna grab, what was it, Jeffrey's World, right? Pretty sure. Jeffrey's worth, yep. So I'm gonna grab that on this brush and I'm kind of I'm gonna use this as a buffer to blend all of this out. Let's just go. Oh. Okay, let's clean this off. I think there's a little bit of blue in there. Do not want that. Okay, I think all the blue is gone. Jeffrey's World again. Let's tap it off. Do you see how exhausted I look here? Like I've never slept a day in my life. Love it. 
Okay, let's go back in with Vanakin Vanity and then Lily. Green sets by the wing. And then blend out on Lily. I'm gonna have a little more Jeffrey's Well. And then what I wanted to do was um I wanna put Let's do it. Candy Cathedral, not on my lid, but around my lid. So I would take something like this. This would be cool. This is the Morphe Three Two One brush. I love this for my inner corner. So I'm gonna get grab Candy Cathedral, which is the hot pink metallic. And then I will put it in my inner corner. And then I'm going to pull it up. I love doing this. Um, because at first, you don't see the shimmer until you, like, turn a certain way. And then you kind of, like, call attention to your eye. I think it's really pretty. It's really, really flattering. So I'm going to do like that. I like to call this the comet technique because at first it's like really big and then it starts to get smaller and fade out. And I think it looks so cool. And then for the extreme frost, I actually want to try something. Um, where is it? So I know that you can wet your extreme frost and it like, like if you wet your brush and go into it, you can use it as kind of like a glitter liner. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to go in with my Morphe E37 brush, which is like a super, it's like a little, it's like skinnier than a pencil brush. And I'm going to spray MAC Fix Plus on the back of my hand because this one's like the most sticky out of my setting sprays. And then you just allow the bristles to take in the water and then wipe off on the back of your hand. And then I will go into curly gates. Just so I don't ruin the pan, I usually like to go in a corner. Oh, let's go down here. Yeah. So it kind of like breaks down the, the thing. So do be careful. But I really don't mind. And I'm actually going to kind of create a wing with this. Follow. We'll grab a little more of the Max Fix Plus and then go back in there. And because of like the way Ew, that looks too nasty. Because of the way these highlighters are formulated, they like kind of like turn invisible and then they like light up. Like, do you see that? In like certain light, it like turns invisible and then you don't see it. I'd probably make it a little thicker though. I'm gonna grab a little more of my spray and I'm back right here. And then. Yeah, so you can honestly make it as thick as you want, but if I'm doing a liner, I'm doing a liner. Ooh, I think I got too much. So once you add water, it starts to destroy the pan, so be careful. It literally looks so cool. It like lines up, it like lights up your eye. That's crazy right there. That's literally so cute. Let me show you guys what it does to your thing now. So that's what happens right there. Like if it gets wet, it starts to like, I don't know, get destroyed. So that's that look. I'm gonna try something a little simpler on this. I'm using the same shades though. Something a little more natural. For all the people that like a little more natural looks. Let's go in with 
Blender Pro by Sonia G. And then we will grab Jeffrey's wheel. And then buff that all over the place. Yeah, you don't want it to be too intense. It's kind of just like the first, first defensive color. So I hope it look a little more natural to your skin. And then we will go in with <clears throat> Fashion Faith, which I will use on my outer V. I'm actually gonna mix Fashion Faith and Vanekin Vanity because I want it to be deep, but I don't want it to, be, it to be as deep as the as the liner I'm gonna do with it. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab Candy Cathedral on my what is this Morphe 166 brush. Clean that off. Get my shade. Oh, that's bright. I want it to be like kind of light, but like still pink. And I think this shade does it really well. Where like when you want a pink shimmer, but you don't want to be like obnoxious, you can sheer it out and it almost looks like a wash of pink this side was a little more artistic and beautiful i love that like shimmer liner Oof. i'm gonna grab a little more because i want it to be a little more intense and then just all over the lid and then we're gonna grab my liner shade and i'm gonna grab that again Vatican Vanity. I don't know why that is so hard for me to say. And then we will do a liner. And because this shade, because I mixed Fashion Faith and Vatican Vanity together, this is going to kind of elongate your eye without creating a wing. If that makes sense. Like it'll be very subtle, but there'll be darkness there to kind of like elongate your eye. And I will kind of just bring that closer to the black one. Oh, I pulled out a little. I actually want to put that on the inner corner too. Bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's so pretty. <laughs> Dude, that's literally gorgeous. And then the set is a little, if you're a little more fun, I'm playing with the watercolor kind of vibe. And I actually really like using Lollipop Luxury on my lips. If you have like a lip balm, you can like mix it in. So nice. Um, and because some of them are like pressed pigments, I, I don't know if they all are, but let me show you. Yeah, I think they're all pressed pigments, but if you use it on your lips and then you wipe it off, it kind of leaves a stain because they're pigments. Beautiful lip stain. Okay, so we have that and that. Ooh, but I forgot to use pearly gates on this eye. I'm actually gonna pop it in the inner corner and see how bright I can get it. I'm gonna use my wing gloss number 20. It's pretty fluffy. I'm gonna use it dry because I wanna see how it works dry.
Yeah, this is pretty. Actually, I don't know if that's working. I'm gonna go with my pinky. And then... Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. I'm gonna blend that in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I wanna put this on my lips too, actually. A little Shazam Shazoo. Beautiful. Yeah, guys. Uh, I hope you guys appreciated this. Roxanne, you killed it for picking out these colors. And I hope we can do this again, actually, because I had a lot of fun. Which one is your guys' favorite eye look? Hmm. I feel like I like bits and pieces about each one, but you guys let me know. Um... Thank you, Roxanne, for doing this video with me again. If you guys don't know who she is, I'll leave her channel down below in the description box. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.